All right, Batman. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, last time I did it, I was fat. See this picture? Jesus, you notice that? Good God. Anyways, the new Batman Arkham Knight trailer came out today, and I'm admittedly a fanboy of this series. I love Asylum, I love City, Origins is okay. Origins was made by a different dev team, it was made by Warner Brothers Montreal, whereas Arkham Asylum and Arkham City were made by Rocksteady. And that's who's doing Arkham Knight, it's Rocksteady. It's gonna be the first Batman game for the next-gen consoles, and exclusively for the next-gen consoles. Only PS4 and only Xbox One. Which means, basically, Rocksteady can pump all the power of these new consoles into this game and hopefully make it a badass experience. But the, on to the trailer, assholes! So it opens up, you got Gotham City, and we hear a mean voice. And it's all like, I'm gonna do stuff, I'm gonna do stuff to the city, you know, you classic shit. Anyway, mean voice is attacking Gotham, and people are running around, they're evacuating the city because, you know, mean voice. But then the camera reveals who mean voice is! It's Freddy Krueger! So Freddy Krueger's invading Gotham, and everybody's gotta get out. Wait, why is Freddy Krueger in the game? Anyway, the city's in trouble, so the, they light up their flashlight, and they call back. Batman. So Batman's gearing up, they kind of reveal the new Bat suit, it moves for some stupid reason, which I don't know, like Batman's not a transformer, why does he need a suit that's all I mean, I guess aesthetically they're trying to make it similar looking to the Batmobile, so when he hops in it's just like I connected this thing like a fucking Lego piece, but I kind of like the old just suit, but hey, maybe they'll have some costumes that you can put on your character. It'd be cool if you could drive to Wayne Manor and just like go into Wayne's closet and be like, oh, which one I'm gonna wear today? The blue one. Anyway, the city's going through hell. Policemen are getting shot. Look at this fall, by the way. Like, oh, man, that's some Game of Thrones shit. And then it's the money shot. It's boom. It's Batman. And where's he hanging out? Well, Batman always hangs out. He's on a fucking roof for some reason. But then he says, screw it. And he dives off the roof like Greg Luganus, except, you know, without all the AIDS. So then he lands. He's like, I'm even in the odds. Ah! And then the Batmobile rolls in, which I'm gonna go ahead and say this about the Batmobile. It's got way too many fucking lights on the front of it. Look, I counted them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 lights just on the front of the thing. That is not energy efficient, Wayne. Batman. I thought he was all about, like, efficiency and trying to save Gotham and the planet. Bat I'm sorry, but Batman needs to go green. It's not going green fucking 12 lights on the front of his fucking Batmobile, which shoots fire out its ass for some reason. That should be a hybrid. Anyway, the Batmobile looks cool. It shows, like, the features. It's got a whole engine that rub, 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 rub. You know how people like their engines loud for some reason? It annoys the shit out of me. Trying to sleep at night. Some asshole's driving by. <laughs> stop. Guys, just stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Anyway, he revs up the Batmobile. Takes off. He almost hits a guy. Like, look at that. Like, he, I, I can't tell if he does hit him or if the guy dives out of the way. But it makes me happy because... Because I'm going to spend like half the game doing that, just like, where's the bad guy? Oh, there he is. Fuck, fuck you. Then he gets all moody and goes into that like Inception bang, bang, kind of shit. He slams the guy's head into a fuse box in one shot. Like, watch this. Like, that's a messed up move. Like, you know, Batman uh, apparently never kills people. Pretty sure that might kill a guy if you just take his head and jam it into a fuse box and you just get all these electrical sparks. You probably just murdered him. But hey, you that, man. Anyway, he's hanging on the roof of Commissioner Gordon, like usual. And it's just a bunch of shots of what looks like gameplay. The Batmobile actually goes upside down because, well, I, fuck you, video games. And then there's a shot of the Batmobile shooting missiles, which I kind of have a problem with. And, and, this, and this was the same thing in The Dark Knight Rises, this bullshit. He's like, I don't use guns. I'll never use guns. I'm better than that. And then he's shooting missiles out of his goddamn Batmobile. That could kill somebody so much more than a bullet could, you dumb fuck. Like, the Batmobile should be more about just ramming people off the road and chasing people and shit like that. Use gadgets to stop the vehicle. But a fucking missile? A little, a little overkill, Batman, since he goes like, No, no guns. I don't use guns, but I use a missile. I don't give a fuck. I don't use a missile. Idiot. Then he just goes into a bunch more glamour shots, which is like, eh, that's more Batman. But then the new villain shows up, the Arkham Knight, who it's basically looks like Batman, but who's not afraid to use guns. So, you know, maybe he should have a Batmobile with fucking missiles in it. That would make sense. Arkham Knight, and that's his name. That's the name of the villain. It's supposed to be, uh, I guess, the antithesis to Batman, which I, I kind of like. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what Rocksteady does with this story, because, like, for the first time, they've kind of created their own villain for this franchise. I mean, you've got your classic Two Face, Penguin, and all that, but this is, like, this is an original baby, so it's either going to be really interesting, or it's going to be kind of stupid. I don't know if he's a bad guy, if he's a vigilante, or what. I kind of hope he's a vigilante that's not afraid to use guns, and so it is the direct opposite of what Batman can do, and that's what makes him a villain. So, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. But what do I think? I'm fucking excited about it! Because it's Rocksteady and they're doing a Batman game, and they did Asylum and City, which were both, to me, 
amazing games. I'm excited about the Batmobile being in there. That should make traversing the city um, more fun. And See, I don't know. It's like, I, I really enjoy flying, so I don't know if I'll be calling the Batmobile a lot. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I, I gotta, you know, gotta get my hands on it, see how it controls all that good stuff. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe, call your mom, ask her if she wants to bang me. Oh my. Is that cool? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay.